Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is the latest Lenovo IdeaPad 5i 2-in-1 Generation 10 laptop. It costed about £820 here in the UK, which is around 95,000 Indian rupees or 1100 American dollars. And you do get a lot of laptop for that money. Stick around and I'll tell you everything there is to know about this laptop in my video. Just before proceeding guys, a quick like and a subscribe to this channel if you're visiting for the first time. Just to support me please and I can keep making these videos for you. Unboxing. Now I can't show much of the unboxing as this product arrived in the standard brown box with my address stamped all over it. But it is packed solidly so the laptop will be super secure in transit. And here it is. I have it in this blue shade which Lenovo calls it as cosmic blue. You can get a grey shade as well. The placement of the Lenovo logo has changed this time. It used to be on the side and the color is nice but it does pick up fingerprints. Let's come back to that. Also in the box we have a power cable and a 65 watt USB-C adapter. You also get some paperwork in the box. Here is the laptop and wow that screen looks glossy. It will be a challenge to film this without any reflections. Let's power it on. Strangely, the power button placement has changed as well. It is now to the side. And here we go. Right away, you can tell that the keyboard is backlit, which is good. Let me go away and set this up and it's all done. This is the new Lenovo IdeaPad 5i running Windows Home. Let's quickly look at the specs which we opted here for this laptop. This is a 16 inch LCD touchscreen laptop with Intel Core Ultra 7 255H processor and 16 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM and 1 terabyte of M.2 SSD storage. The graphics chip which you get here is the integrated Intel Arc graphics card. Now let's look at that gorgeous display first. This here is the 16 inch IPS panel with 1920 cross 1200 resolution. So you get that 2.5K resolution display here. It is an IPS panel, which is also a touchscreen with 300 nits of brightness. Now colors are really good as you can see. Plus the screen to body ratio is pretty decent as well. You do get that thin borders with this notch like design on the top which hoses the full HD camera with that signature physical shutter to cover the camera, giving you that privacy and safety option. Can you open the laptop with one hand? Actually, no, you need two hands here. The camera supports Windows Hello, so you can unlock the laptop with your face. And here's the quality of the webcam. It's nice 1080p resolution here, which is more than sufficient for all your video calls. Back to that screen. Colors are really nice and vibrant. Despite not being an OLED screen, it does get really bright and even the viewing angles are excellent here. The inbuilt speakers are decent as well. Here is how it sounds. Hi guys, welcome to the full review of iPhone 15 Pro Max after a month of continuous usage. Even with a royalty free YouTube audio, here is how it sounds. They are pretty decent and it does get loud so you can just rely on them for watching content and movies. And of course, this is a touchscreen so it is very responsive as you can see and the laptop has got a solid hinge which allows you to open the flap at any angle and even flip the screen like this or completely fold it with the keyboard at the back. Now, this is a heavy laptop guys weighing in at 1.9 kilograms plus it is big as we opted for the 16 inch screen size. So using it in the tablet mode is a bit uncomfortable and the touchscreen here is mainly for convenience, especially when you don't want to use the trackpad and just you can reach out and touch for the control or the input option. You can also opt for a stylus which Lenovo offers for just 10 pounds extra at the time of ordering. Let's look at I.O. next. First with the ports, you get a full HDMI 1.4 port, then two USB Type-C ports, which both support up to 10 Gbps data transfer rates, and they double as a display port 3.1 plus work for power delivery as well. You have a 3.5 mm headphone jack next. To the other side, like I mentioned, you have the power button here, and then there is a micro SD card reader, really nice, and two USB Type-A ports that support five Gbps transfer speeds. So with this, you do get that incredible data transfer speeds. Here, I'm trying to copy a folder which is over 14 gigabytes and let's go. Wow, that just took like about 35 seconds to complete. Coming to the keyboard, it 
feels really nice and premium. First, the keys are nicely spaced apart, which certainly helps in eliminating that accidental key presses. Then they feel really soft, offering that perfect amount of resistance, making it a joy to type on this thing. And they are pretty silent as well. Here, listen to this. Also, because of that bigger screen size, you also get the number pad to the side as well. Usually guys, IdeaPad Fire Eye series laptops from Lenovo do get decent keyboards. I have the older generation here as well, which I reviewed on my channel. I'll link it down below if you wish to check it out. And compared to that, Lenovo actually improved the keyboard in this version, which is awesome. And you can certainly feel the difference when you compare them side by side. Next, trackpad is decent as well. It's not really massive as how it is on some laptops, but there still is enough room for all your multi-finger gestures. Coming to battery, the laptop has got a 57 watt hour polymer battery and this supports Lenovo's rapid charge technology. So you get two hours worth of battery life with just 15 minutes of charge. Of course, it charges via USB, so you can pretty much use any USB charger with decent wattage and you do not have to stick with the one which is included in the box. But if you want that rapid charging functionality, then you need to use the included one. Coming to battery life with moderate usage and screen brightness set to about 65%, you can easily get about six to seven hours. But if you're using resource intensive processes and video calling, expect the battery life to be around four hours. Let's see how much battery gets consumed if you stream a high definition movie from Netflix. So here we go. The movie is around one hour, 40 minutes, and the screen is set to max brightness and volume to about 86%. We are starting the movie at 97% and here we go. Okay, the movie is done now. The runtime was roughly around one hour, 40 minutes, and the battery percentage is 76 now. So we lost about 21% of battery when we're streaming a movie from Netflix. Let's talk about performance now. The processor which we opted for here is the Intel Core Ultra 7 255H series, which is a 16 core processor from Intel's latest Arrow Lake wave of CPUs, and it was launched in early 2025. You get six performance cores and 10 efficient cores with a max of 5.1 gigahertz of speed. That is paired with a 16 gigabyte LPDDR5X RAM, which is soldered guys. So you will not have an option for RAM expansion. Integrated Intel Arc graphics chip here. The performance which you get out of this is really decent, especially for office work. It completely zips through them. I have about 15 Chrome tabs open with six more on edge. Then I've got the complete suite of Microsoft apps running here, Outlook, Word, Excel, and even Photoshop with picture editors open and windows open. And as you can see, it still works perfectly fine. Even the fan doesn't kick off. I ran a heavy import routine and this laptop was relevantly quiet. Here are the Geekbench scores if you're interested in it, including the graphical score as well. So coming to gaming, Again, it works perfectly fine. Now, don't expect the same performance which you get out of a laptop with a dedicated graphics card, but casual games, it's totally fine. And even with some A-rated titles here, it worked perfectly fine. I managed to get smooth performance even when the settings were set to the high performance mode. Both heavy 4K video editing and Adobe Photoshop worked perfectly fine, guys. This laptop was perfectly capable of handling both of them with ease. And finally, let's get to that buzzword of this year, AI. And yes, we do get that dedicated Windows Copilot button here on the keyboard that gives you full access to the Windows AI model. I really find this super useful, especially when it comes to work-related stuff. You know, things like asking it to rewrite an email in more professional or friendly format, proofreading text, and even asking it to give me code samples and suggestions. Again, all of this can be invoked by the press of a dedicated button, which is super handy and really, really useful. So in conclusion, yes, for that 800 pounds price here in the UK, this is a solidly kitted out laptop with the latest Intel Core 7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM and a whopping one terabyte of storage. Added to that, you get the gorgeous 2.5K touchscreen display, an amazing keyboard and just the right amount of ports so you don't have to worry about getting a dongle. This is an amazing laptop and I would 
highly recommend it to everyone who are looking for a decently specced out laptop at a very decent price. Added to that, this is coming from my personal experience, guys. Lenovo laptops have always been reliable. We use a lot of brands at our workplace, but out of all of them, Lenovo's were the one which were most reliable. Now, interesting thing about the ordering process is you can actually see how much you can save when you downgrade a few specs here because this laptop comes with a lower end processor as well. So if you go for that, which is the Ultra 5 processor here, you save about 140 pounds. You can halve the storage again and that saves you 40 pounds. So it's really not much in terms of saving if you downgrade. And I feel that it's better to fully kit this out as you'd get better value for your money. Two important options which I feel you need to take is just 10 pounds extra for that Lenovo digital pen, which could be handy, but more importantly is just 10 pounds extra to upgrade the Wi-Fi to 7 and Bluetooth to 5.4. Because by default you get Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.3 support. Just for 10 pounds, I feel that it is an absolute must. As I know you might not need it right away, but that way it'll make your laptop more future proof. Also, based on my last Lenovo video, guys, I do get a lot of questions on how the same laptop has got different specs. Guys, Lenovo usually does this. Different parts of the world get different configurations for the same model. So some might not have the backlit keyboard option or some might have an OLED screen instead of an LCD panel, but that is how Lenovo does it. So the same model in your country might have slightly different specs. I will leave all the links down below along with any offer codes and links which could save you money. So please do check them out if you're interested in buying this laptop. Once again, guys, as you can see, a lot of hard work goes into making these videos. So please hit that like button. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time, please do hit that subscribe button and support me so I can keep making these videos for you. And as always, it's a lengthy video. If you stayed until here, thanks a lot for watching it until the end. I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.